It has been a little over a week since police say a driver hit and killed 14 year old Jonathan Bridgman while he was walking home. It happened in Winchester and today WKYT's Mariah Congito talked with his family who says he took a walk to break in a new pair of shoes and they never thought that he would not make it back home. Jonathan Bridgman, who his family and friends called Jeb, was notorious for going out on walks. His parents say they had just moved back to the area and he loved how close his home was to shops and restaurants. We had called him and said it was time to come home. Um, and he said, I'm walking home from Wal not Walmart, but I, you don't need to pick me up. I can just come home. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Jeb was known for his punctuality. So when 40 minutes went by, his mother, Hallie, knew something was wrong. When she called him, a detective answered the phone. Ma'am, we need you to come to the corner of Bypass and Red Wing. There's been an incident, and if this is your son, he's deceased. So we got in the car and drove to the scene, and Greg identified him. Jonathan was weeks away from his 15th birthday. It's completely wrong that he's not here. I'm not angry with the driver. I'm angry that Jeb is not here, that the world is not a better place because he's no longer in it. His father, Greg, says he was very personable and always cracking jokes. He was homeschooled, but was involved in several extracurriculars, including taekwondo, music, and ventriloquism. Greg says his claim to fame was solving a Rubik's Cube in less than 30 seconds while reciting Pi. He represented a person that has 100% guarantee of being successful in some way in the future. Jonathan's older brother, Scott, says he was always amazed with his brother. He says this is because Jonathan could learn to master anything he put his mind to. So much so that what he wanted to be when he grew up changed every day. We encouraged him to pursue acting because he was really good at it. And then he could become everything. He was the best of Hallie and the best of me and none of the worst. The Bridgman say their strong faith is helping them cope and the fact that they never missed the chance to tell Jeb how much they loved him. So I just want to know what happened and I want it to never happen to anybody else. Mariah Congito, WKYT. And the Bridgman say Winchester police are still investigating. They say as of now it has not been ruled an accident. They're waiting on lab results and surveillance. They're working with uh, and coming up with some ways now to honor Jonathan's life as they move forward.